So, here's the update. The funeral is Thursday morning. I'm trying very hard not to cry right now. The funeral is Thursday morning, so if I were to go, I would need to fly out Wednesday, stay in a hotel for Wednesday night, Thursday night, and then come home on Friday, which means that I would have to find some kind of transportation while I'm there, um, either rent a vehicle or find out if they have cab service for wheelchair people. And then, um, I'm trying to think what all I need. I would need to board Luna and Kaylee for two days if I can find a place that'll board a pit bull because I don't know of anywhere that does because every place I called when I was supposed to have surgery wouldn't board her. So I need to find a place that would board her and um, Kaylee. Kaylee's cake. I mean, she's tiny. Most places don't have a problem boarding chihuahuas and dachshunds. But <laughs> say pit bull and they freak out. And then I would have to pay for three nights in a hotel, which the cheapest hotel I could find was $80 a night. So 80 times three. Sorry, no, correction. Two nights, three days. So it would be 160, give or take. So the flight would be 500 round trip if I use Southwest. Um, the uh, hotel, if I were to come back on Friday, would be 160. So that's 660. And then the um, if I were able to find a rental car that had a wheelchair accessible option, then that would be another, I don't know, $600. I don't know. All I know is that it's not as much as I thought, but it is quite a bit. So if anybody can help, great. I'm at this point... I don't know. Just wish I made it there sooner. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm willing to admit I might have been wrong, but I'm setting a firm line in the sand, a boundary, if you will, and this will be the last time we discuss it. This boundary is that from this moment on, August 11th, 2023, I do not wish for anybody to pray for me. I don't want your prayers. You can send well wishes. You can keep me in your thoughts. You can wish for good things for me. Don't have a problem for all of that. I do not want prayers, though. I don't want prayers to whatever deity you believe in, whatever God you believe in. I don't want them. It is a boundary that I'm setting. It is a line in the sand. And from this moment on, this is a no prayer place, meaning my feed, my videos, my comment section, my live streams are not for your prayers. You can believe whatever you want. You can have faith in whatever deity you want to have faith in. Obviously, I can't control that, nor would I ever wish to. But I do not want your prayers. I simply want nothing to do with Sky Daddy or 
however you wish to refer to him. I don't believe in God. I am not a Christian. And I wish for my page to stay religion free. If you can't respect that, then that's on you. That's absolutely, you do you, but it's not going to be done on my page. I'm tired of having to have this conversation. I'm tired of having to discuss this with people. So from this moment on, August 11th, 2023, I do not wish to discuss religion with anybody any further. Which means I will not mention God. I will not ask for prayers. I will not say God bless to anyone. Doesn't matter how many years I was a Christian, I am no longer one. And I wish for my wish for no religion to be respected. Okay, I need to address some things that some people just don't seem to get. If I mention something that I need or that's going on in my life, I'm not asking anybody to buy it for me. For example, my fence. Just because I mentioned in a comment that the gate as it is cannot be locked and that the fence needs to be replaced, I'm not asking any of you to pay for it. It's going to be taken care of. It's already in the works because as the owner of the house, my mother helps me with those things because again, she owns this house. Now let's move on to Unique. I know a lot of people were confused why I didn't know anything about one of the new products. I didn't know anything about it because I didn't know it existed until tonight. Because they announced it at the convention, which I did not attend because it was in a different state. So I couldn't attend it to learn about the product. Now, I probably could have gone virtually. But I just didn't. And that is on me. If anybody wants to know about products, I will absolutely find out about those products if I don't use them. But a majority of the unique products I have used at least once in some form. I am going to regret this next part, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I don't get something. And maybe if somebody can be respectful, somebody can explain it to me. Why are all the people who are on the reddit page why are y'all so pressed that I'm trying to find ways to earn money just because it's not a job in the traditional sense doesn't mean it's a scam not everything that I try is a scam just because you don't like it doesn't make it bad it just makes it something you don't like. Which clearly is a lot of things. Seriously, to everybody on the Reddit page, get a life. I'm currently in urgent care. Quick shot. Um, I was cutting something and the knife went through the something and into my hand. And I look horrible. Sorry, guys. But, um, needless to say, I thought, oh, God, just looking at it makes me sick. I thought that, um, they could glue stitch it, but 
she said that there's no way because of the way the cut is it has to have real stitches so I'm going to have to get real stitches and the last time I got real stitches I screamed because when he put the numbing agent in the wound it hurt but anyway so we will see what happens um I'm going to stop recording now because I'm starting to feel nauseous and honestly I feel like I'm going to pass out um the windblown look is not my favorite look um I forgot to grab my glasses before I left too. I just quickly grabbed my bag and left. So, any hoodle, I will be back around later. Oh God, I should not have looked at it. I will not throw up, I will not throw up. I will see you guys later. Um. Yeah. Bye.